so first supervised algorithm or first classification algorithm that we are going to see is called as uh, decision tree okay it is one of the more uh, most fundamental technique uh, in classification and uh, it's widely used and typically gives very good performance okay and we are going to see how to build a machine learning model for decision trees okay and then we'll also see how to uh, use that model to make predictions as well as how to build such a model in R and then evaluate it okay so we'll go through this entire process of dividing the data set and then building the model validating it and everything in the context of uh, a decision tree algorithm okay we already saw what is learning so we don't need to go into that okay. so let's take an example okay so what is a classification problem you have bunch of records historical records and then you have some answer associated with it which is called as a class label and then we need to build a model so that whenever a new record comes in we need to be able to predict uh, predict the answer right predict the class level now let's take let's be more concrete and let's take an example okay so i want to decide whether i should play uh, football or cricket or whatever it is whether i should play the game tomorrow or not okay that's the decision that i want to make and the decision uh, i mean i'm going to make the decision based on the weather conditions that are uh, projected tomorrow okay so i look at the temperature i will look at whether it's uh, going to be clouded or not or whether it's going to be uh, rainy or not okay so depending on these criteria i'm going to decide whether or i want to decide whether i am i have to play or not okay and how would you do that essentially the way machine learning uh, happens in this particular scenario is that it takes a uh, historical data okay did i play day before yesterday and what was the temperature what was the whether it's raining whether it's windy and did i play four days back what is the temperature what is the um, uh, weather can uh, rest of the weather conditions along with the class label which is playing or not playing okay i have bunch of records like that and then i build my machine learning model to uh, to predict for tomorrow okay is it clear for everyone the scenario and uh, how machine learning is okay great now i'll show you how a decision tree looks like okay i mean let's say we build the model on this uh, historical data and we got the decision tree and let's see how does it look like and then we'll go back and see how to construct such a tree okay and that when you look at the tree it's absolutely intuitive and trivial to understand so let's look at that so this is how such a tree would look like okay forget about this uh, numbers for now so what is this tree it's essentially first asking okay what is the outlook for tomorrow whether it's sunny cloudy or rainy is it sunny if it is sunny then i'll go and check the temperature if it is less than 30 i will say play if it is greater than 30 oh it's too hot and i'll say don't play okay and similarly if it is clouded then i'll go ahead and say play and if it is rainy then i'll check the wind speed if it is too windy then i don't play if it is less windy i'll play okay so this is an example of a decision tree and you know exactly why it's called decision tree because it looks like a tree and it is helping you to make decisions on playing or not playing okay and these numbers are essentially the historical records that are distributed across uh, uh, across a tree okay so in the historical data i i looked at uh, last two weeks of data so there are 14 uh, values that means 14 records each with playing or not playing answer okay and initially 
there were nine play records and five don't play records. And then once I looked at the outlook, there were uh, five sunny records, four cloudy records, and uh, five rainy records out of all 40. Okay, and then similarly, the in that five uh, of sunny records, there were like two for playing and three for don't play. And uh, again, if you divide based on the temperature, there were two for playing when the temperature is less than 30, and there were three don't play records when the temperature is greater than 30. Okay. So these numbers are simply the training data, which is your historical data that is distributed across this decision tree. Okay. So this tree is very, very easy to um, interpret, right? So tomorrow, if I want to make prediction, I will ask you what are the independent variables, which are outlook, temperature, and windy. So you will say, okay, outlook is uh, sunny and uh, temperature is 25 degrees centigrade and windy is equal to false. Okay, This is the input record that you are going to give me for tomorrow. And then I will see. Okay, I have to go through this tree to make the decision. Right. So first I will say outlook. What did you say for outlook for tomorrow? It's sunny. So I go here. And then what is the temperature that you told me for tomorrow? It's 25 degrees centigrade. So it's less than 30. So come here. And then I'll decide I'll go, I'm going to play. So I'll declare the answer to be playing. Okay. So that's the prediction that is made by the model. Is that clear to everyone? Is it clear what the decision tree is? We will now uh, go into the details of how to constructing such a tree. Okay. Okay. Now, given this tree, there are a bunch of uh, again uh, more terminology. So there are a bunch of things. There's something called as a root node, which is the first attribute that is uh, evaluated, and then there's a branching node, which are these intermediate nodes. Okay. And there are some leaf nodes. Okay, leaf node is the place where you kind of made a decision, right? So as soon as we saw temperature is greater than thirty, we'll say it's oh it's too hot and don't play, right? So that is the decision node in which you made the decision. So that's and it's at the last level in the tree, and therefore it's called leaf node. Okay. Now, obviously, in order to construct such a tree, what are the questions that comes to our mind? Okay, The first and foremost question is, so we have three attributes, right? Outlook, temperature, and windy or not. Now out of these three attributes, what should I choose as the first uh, attribute to split on? Right? So here, we are splitting our data set based on the outlook. But who tells me that outlook is should be the first one? Why not temperature? Why not windy? Right? So that's the first question. Given a list of attributes, how do I choose my splitting attribute? Okay? Which one to choose? Uh, uh, Piyush, cloudy will be again leaf node because it's not uh, going, I mean it's not branching out anymore. Because at this point itself we made the decision. And therefore, it's uh, it's the leaf node. Okay, so the first question is uh, oops, which variable to split on, whether in the in the root node as well as in the intermediate nodes. Okay, and the second question, so okay, you check the temperature, uh, you check the outlook, you check the temperature, and then uh, you need to decide should I check the windy also or did I, am I happy to make a decision, right? So how long should I go down uh, to make a decision, right? So again, like a stopping criteria that we have seen in k-means, right? When do we start our process of building the tree? 
in k-means it was like when do we start the process when do we stop the process of updating the clusters and here the stopping criteria is when do we start uh, when do we stop building the trip okay and then the final uh, uh, question is that once I reach a uh, last level okay how do I make a decision here so I told you that uh, if it is less than 30, I'm going to play. If it is greater than 30, I'm not going to play. Okay? But how did I make the decision? Right? Why did I choose play here and don't play here? And why did I choose don't play here and then play here? Right? So that is the choice or the decision that you make in the leaf node. Okay? So those are the primary questions one needs to answer in order to build a decision tree. Okay, okay. So we are going to uh, learn this model building process using this particular data set. Okay, here the problem is that I want to predict a particular person is going to buy a computer or not. Okay, so this is the answer or predict uh, or class label. Okay, buys computer and uh, if it is yes, then that person will be likely to buy a computer and if it is no, then the person is not going to buy a computer. Okay, And we are going to make the decision based on four other attributes. Okay, The age of the person, the income of the person, whether or not the person is student and the credit rating or credit score of that particular person. Okay, So if you give me a historical data, like this, a bunch of data records for each of the attribute and the corresponding class label for it, whether that person has bought the computer or not in the history. Using this entire data set, I'm going to learn a machine learning model, right? Now, uh, again, as I was saying, age is a continuous attribute, so we split it into three bins, okay? This is just one example where I split on three bins, but I can split into four bins as well. Less than 25, 35 to uh, 25 to 35, 35 to 45, and greater than 45. Or I can bin into five bins, six bins, whatever is it. Okay, that's your choice. But the point is that I have to make that continuous values into uh, these bin values. Okay. Okay, now we are going to see how, okay, what do I do now? According to this uh, high level algorithm, I will start with all these 14 records, okay, and I have four attributes, age, income, student, and credit rating, okay. Now I compute a statistic, a magic statistic for each of these attributes, and then choose the attribute that gives the best value of that statistic, okay. And then we split on that. 